Welcome back, and if you are new to this channel, thank you for joining. So in today's video, I'm wanting to create a multifunctional light feature for around my pool, but also something that will benefit my garden. Uh, with what I'm about to design, my goal is to design, to design a light feature with posts and be able to string lights on it and plant moonflowers. The moonflower will attract the sphinx moth or hummingbird moth, which is what lays the eggs for the infamous hornworms for the tomato and pepper plants. So I'm hoping, or at least my goal is, to plant the moonflowers and offer it as a trap plant so that the moths will want to gravitate towards my light feature with the moonflowers instead of going to my garden where my tomatoes and pepper plants are. So I already started putting this together. My goal is to use two gallon buckets, fill it with concrete, add two by four treated post. And what inspired me to do this, aside from wanting to get a light feature going around my pool, is these plant hangers I've had laying around for many, many years and not knowing what to do with them, I decided this would be the perfect DIY. So I went ahead and I started with adding not only the hangers, but at the very end, I added nails to the bottom of the two by fours to kind of act as a rebar in concrete to try to make sure it holds strong in the concrete. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we'll find out together. I started with the two gallon buckets, which was donated by a generous donor. So that was free to me. I'm not going to count the cost of the hooks because I've had them for so many years. The nails and the screws used we've had. We did purchase the quickcrete. So I'm going to count the cost of this project with just the quick crete and the treated two by fours that we purchased today. I purchased five treated two by fours and eight bags of quick crete. The eight bags is conservative because I'm actually going to be using it for another project if we have extra. And it was around $80 for that. I'll put the exact price on the screen. So my first step is I sprayed the Pam in the buckets. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna start adding quickcrete while I place the post. So I just filled the bucket approximately this full with water. And now I'm gonna add some concrete. I'm placing it on a level surface. And I'm just going to gauge it a little bit. And I'm going to continue adding the quickcrete and filling it, alternating between quickcrete and water, and I'm gonna let it all absorb. I'm then going to make sure it is level on all sides. Okay, so we got two of them done right now it is very important to make sure you check the level on each side you know the front and the side to make sure it's level i went ahead and i screwed on all the hangers first i figured that would be easier to do it before we placed it in the bucket and we just alternated i added a little bit of water at the bottom and just a very little bit of the quickcrete Hopefully that's not gonna cause any issues. I think what I might do with the rest of them is just add a little bit of water and then add the two by four and then start adding uh, quick crete alternating. So, and just to let you know, I did have my husband helping me because these are eight foot, it's two by four by eight foot tall treated boards that we used. So, it is helpful if you have somebody to at least help 
with this process. So we're gonna continue this process. Oh, and then we used, we used a two by four and just kind of, you know, patted it down and around as we were alternating the water and the quick creep. Um, so we're just gonna continue this process until we have all of them done. We'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and mixed up all of the concrete in the buckets yesterday. They are now set, but um, I went ahead and I added to the project. I, or we had a four by four in the garage that we haven't used yet that was already painted white. Because, and I'll show you that at the end as well. But I decided I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of these white, including the plant hangers. And I happen to you have a sprayer. Todd's already used this once um, for painting in the chicken coop, but this is gonna be my first time using this sprayer. Uh, if I had to do this all over again, I would probably paint all the boards first white and then maybe spray paint the hangers but this is what we have to work with today so I'm going to go ahead and get these painted and while I am getting these painted I'm going to go ahead and soak my moonflower seeds to get those nice and moist to help speed up the process of germination when I finally plant this in the planters so I apologize, I failed to record what we did on our next step. Um, we went ahead and we got the two by fours with the plant hangers uh, painted white. And if you remember, they were in the two gallon buckets um, with concrete. So we had a couple of these, they look like whiskey barrel planters. They're like a plastic composite. Uh, we got them at Roll King, and I think they were around um, nine, ten dollars each. Like I said, we already had two, but Todd went out and bought three more, so that's around thirty dollars. What we did is we placed the two-gallon bucket in the center, and there happened to be a perfect circle for it to fit in in the center. We drilled four holes in the bottom for drainage purposes, and we had some rock, landscape rock. Um, that is just sitting on the other side of the garage and we filled it approximately uh, maybe between a third to halfway full with the rocks and then we filled it the rest of the way with potting soil mix. So we will be planting, um, like I said, the moonflowers and just to let you know, there are a couple different types of moonflowers. They are toxic to humans and animals. They're so you can't eat any part of it. And then we also bought uh, morning glories. Uh, morning glories will bloom during the day and the moonflowers will bloom whenever it starts getting dark out. I've been soaking uh, the moonflowers overnight um, and then we went to the store and we bought some more because I didn't feel like we had enough seeds um, to plant in, in the five different planters. And then I found these really awesome morning glories. One's a red and one is a blue, but it's got like this white line that's traced around the flower. And I thought that that would be really pretty. So I know I'm getting started a little late in the season for getting these planted. It is Memorial Day, uh, 2023. So it'll probably take about a month or so until they really start getting going. But in my mind, at least, it's, I'm envisioning this really beautiful landscape on my pool deck that will be twining up on the posts that we created in the light feature. So um, the next step is I need to get those lights out and get them strung. Hopefully I'll have it all done so I can record tonight to see what it looks like. This is the final project during the day. And this is what it looks like at night. Mm -hmm. 
let me know what you think. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.